Well, today we're really excited. We're actually making the first component for the brand new locomotive. And James has kindly agreed to come along and he's making the smoke box dart, which is that distinctive clock face that's on the front of the locomotive. He wanted to make something rather than just press a button or something like that. So we wanted to do something that was significant, something we'd always be seen, and something that was relatively easy to make. I like this stuff, that's the thing. I, I'm not into going and pretending I do things. I, I just do things that I like. I like, I like lathes and milling machines. I like metalwork. I like the smells, all that. I like it. Some people think it's all very anal, but pff, it's no different from liking cooking or sewing. Don't need to worry about that. Right, disengage, running. Here we go. Purely by coincidence, I'd been reading a book and it mentioned the P2. It was actually talking about some of the problems it had negotiating curves and bits breaking and so on. I was looking at some pictures of it and I thought that's a particularly excellent looking thing. I can't remember actually when I got talking to Mark about it, I said, could you do a P2? And he said, it's funny you should say that, we've just got hold of the drawings or something. And that was what they were going to do. Have you seen the drawing of what we're making on the wall? It's quite good because that is the bit you see when you look really at the locomotive anywhere from the front. And it's what gives it its, its mood, its facial expression. The position that the two bars end up in. If they're like that at sort of 10 to 2, it looks happy. If they're down here, it looks slightly unhappy. If they're straight across, it looks sort of Liberal Democrat in the middle. I've never worked on anything massive. I mean, I've, I've made things, I mean, it's pure therapy at home. I've made some small tools like engineers clamps, I've made little hammers, I've made a little mammoth type steam engine, a very simple thing. I'm not used to having a piece of metal that big or that heavy or using machines that large. Do you want me to do the first couple of cuts? Yeah. It's very good, he's really opened my eyes actually because uh, he does know a lot about engineering so I'm very pleased with how he's done. I've just helped him on, you know, on the way but uh, pretty much he, you know, he's been quite good at what he's been doing. The most difficult bit was the bit that Tom did, which was <laughs> screw cutting. On the end of the dart, there's a thread. It's a one and a quarter inch Whitworth. Um, and I have done screw cutting on a lathe. Obviously, you gear the spindle to the lead screw so that the tool moves at the right speed to cut the thread and you feed it in gradually. And that's all great. But the way it's done on that, you can't stop at the end. So you have to, you need a diagram or an animated thing for this, but the tool will go along and then as it reaches the shoulder, he has to, in one move, reverse the lathe and withdraw the tool. And he's got about a fifth of a second to do that. And if he gets it wrong once, he will ruin the whole piece. So I let him do that bit. The P2 project's fantastic. Um, it's brilliant for the area and it's a very exciting thing to be involved with, you know. Um, as a child, I grew up mainly with the diesels. Um, so to me, a steam train is still quite a, a mythical sort of beast really, you know. Um, and to be involved in building one from scratch is absolutely fantastic. It's a shame actually that the vast majority of it will disappear inside the smoke box and get covered in soot. It's good. The two handles will be on the outside, those are the important bits. That's, that's a bit of what makes a steam locomotive a steam locomotive. All that lovely turning stuff and the lovely taper on the dart head and stuff, and nobody will ever see it apart from the man who has to clean it. Uh, but every time it comes towards you, you'll know it's there and you know you made it. Well, that's the bit, yes. I'm, and I'm going to be quite boring about it, I can tell you that now. If I'm with anybody I know and it comes towards us or it appears in a newspaper, I'll be like, oh, I did that. Can we have no more crap about how nothing's made in England anymore? Because that was <laughs> by blokes with tea. That's all it takes. <laughs>